What's up guys? So I know it's been a long time since I filmed anything with the obviously the Terminator and uh, today's video I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update because it's just been sitting. I haven't told you guys what's going on or nothing. So today's video will address a lot of stuff that has happened and some questions that you guys might not even know like what happened like why is the car been down for so long and everything so today we're just going to address that okay guys so to start off pretty much i just want to say if you guys have stuck around i really appreciate you guys the cobra has kind of just turned into stuff that i didn't even want to to begin with now you guys if you guys have watched my other videos which i think you guys can click up here if you guys haven't watched some of the videos to give a little bit of a background we did do a built setup and it actually was okay but we noticed that there was just too much oil contamination so i took out the motor before anything got worse and we were able to save the components which is a big thing now after that had happened i was like it's been so long i just want to get the car running now um i ended up buying a motor from a company i don't really want to name the name but i believe that we were sold a bad motor from this company they told me that they wanted proof of the motor essentially being messed up and this and that. They essentially wanted proof that the motor wasn't my fault, which absolutely makes zero sense because all I did was put on a oil pan, the oil pickup tube, which we measured the distance on the pickup tube to the bottom of the tray. We drove the car for 15 minutes and the engine didn't even last for 15 minutes. So I believe we were sold a bad motor. Didn't wanna make it right, so here I am addressing it to you guys. And so, after that happened, I uh, really lost hope with the car. I just, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to deal with it. And so right now I'm going to show you some clips of the man himself, James from Cobra Engineering. He is actually helping me tackle on this engine build and get the Cobra back and running again. So that's a big plus that I haven't told you guys about and I'm very excited to tell you guys. And so as of now, we are just currently waiting on the motor, but as I talk about the car and the engine, I will put some clips on the screen of the engine. It is going to be a Texa block. I really just want to get the running, just OEM factory. That's ideal for me at the moment. I really just wanted to give you guys an update on kind of the gist of what's been going on. And pretty much we got screwed on a $4,500 motor. That was such a setback. Uh, I was just not, I was spending so much money to the car to the point where it wasn't even worth it for me. The whole point of me filming for YouTube is obviously to provide content for you guys to watch. As much as I love providing content for you guys, you know, I treat this like a job and uh, I've tried my best. I've done a lot. The Cobra has turned into pretty much a big nightmare. It, it's stuff that I didn't even anticipate happening and that's life. Like, it's gonna hit at you. They're gonna throw jabs at you, but you just gotta learn how to take it. So, like I said, Cobra Engineering is doing a build built motor with the components we had from the first one which we were able to save them and um so we just have to wait on that and once that's all said and done then i think that we should be able to hopefully drive the car and be all good back to normal again but until then uh it's kind of hard not really gonna film too much of uh the other stuff unless you guys really want to see stuff behind the scenes because i know it's so repetitive and i apologize for stuff it sucks to say that we're put in this position but you know, it happened this way and there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's just the way it is right now. You know, last year was an amazing year, but this past year I learned so much about the car stuff and what I really want in a car and what I want as a car. And it's just not been like the best experience when it came to the car stuff, you know? And it sucks, it really does suck. But it really did teach me a lot about the car and everything. So from this point forward, you guys will start to see some changes. And uh, I hope you guys get to stick around to see that. But that's really the biggest update with the car and the Cobra. And yeah, that's that. It sucks. But um, here we are today. We're still living. We're still surviving. But with that being said, guys, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later more about the car. We got scammed for a motor. Motor didn't work out. First motor didn't work out. So now we're here. And uh, Cobra Engineering from James. Big shout out to James, guys. I just... Big shout out to him if you're watching. I really appreciate you, James. It's just a big weight off my shoulders and shout out to James, I really appreciate him. You guys go give him a follow. He is pretty much your go-to guru for all Cobra stuff. He sells, he sells conversions to make TVS blowers from the Shelby's work on those cars. 
and a plethora of stuff in between cooling mods everything check him out guys i'll leave all of his information down below if you guys got a cobra go check him out check out his stuff but yeah i'll give you guys updates as we go but as of now that's it we'll catch you guys in a bit and have an amazing day So if you guys did make it to the end of the video, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on the engine and whatnot because I've gotten a lot of questions of what components we're using for the block. So we're starting off with a Texid aluminum block. These are very common popular upgrade when it comes to building the 4.6 modular V8s. It's just a very strong block like standard bore. These can handle of almost up to 2000 horsepower that's what i've heard obviously not pushing or trying to push 2000 horsepower um but in the case that we do the block should be able to handle it and then we're also drilling in the drill fixtures for the the timing chain guides um that's pretty much where guides run off of and on the text that they don't have them so you have to drill them yourself and cobra engineering sells a direct kit that pretty much is foolproof it's a uh, pretty much a whole template but it is a drill fixture for the aluminum block to drill in the new holes for that and after that we're just deburring the block getting it prepped and ready to go and then uh, we'll be using the manly rods manly pistons and then i believe king racing bearings for the engine so that's kind of a little bit of a background to what you guys can expect with the block and i can't wait to show you guys that when it's all said and done and uh big shout out to james guys like i said go give him a follow go check him out i'll leave his website and everything down in the description and uh that's that <laughs>